Hey there, it's Luke from Machinery Partner, and today we're going to walk through the step-by-step -step process of safely starting up and tracking the Omega J1065T. First things first, make sure you like and subscribe to the Machinery Partner YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our how-to videos just like this one. Let's get started. We need to turn the isolator switch on. This is the red switch located on the side of the control panel. After a short while, the crusher and feeder buttons on the main control panel will light up. If the blue fault reset light comes on, press it to reset the machine. If you are using a wired remote control, you can go ahead and plug it in right here at the front of the machine. You must also make sure this switch is set to local. If you are using a wireless remote, you can follow the exact same process. All you need to do is switch this to radio. You can now turn the deep sea panel switch to on. After waiting for the screen to load, press the green on button to start the crusher. The safety siren will sound and the machine will begin to run. You can now press the hydraulic power pack start button. Taking your remote, make sure the switch here in the middle is in the down position. Turn the switch on the side of the remote to the on position. Just look at the small arrow that acts as a guide. The green light on the remote will start flashing. Pressing this green button will then pair the remote. You will know your remote is successfully paired when the flashing light slows down like this. Pushing the middle switch up will cause the safety siren to pulse. Once the noise becomes constant and the amber light is flashing, the crusher is now ready to track. To safely shut down the machine, flick the switch on the remote to the down and turn it off. On the control panel, press the red hydraulic power pack stop button and then the red stop button here. The deep C panel can now be switched off. Finally, you can turn the battery isolator switch off, but you must make sure that the amber light has gone out before you do this as the machine is in the process of safely clearing the blue death lines. If either of the red emergency stop buttons are pressed, this machine will not work. You'll hear an alarm. Just twist the button and press the fault reset button here to start using the machine again. To reset the remote, gently twist the button in the direction of the arrows. If the remote is still not working, the battery might be dead. Charge up your battery with the handy charger that attaches to the side of the machine. You can also use the dog lead wired controller as a backup. Still stuck? Don't worry. Machinery Partner has a dedicated service and support team who are always here to help. Just drop us a comment below or call us at 866-847-1440.